Hello Brawlers and welcome to the Baku Talk News, I'm Haru Ren. It was previously reported that the mythic Dragonoid, Trox, and Hydrus from Evolutions was put up for sale on the Cubicove Discord. Well now N. Flores got them and revealed the contents inside. Seriously, N. Flores is a mad lad for doing that. When I saw the listing, the person was asking for quite a bit of money for them. Seriously, subscribe to N. Flores, he's an insane MFR. So, there are new great looking gate cards coming out and based on action cards from Geogon Rising. The character cards will start with Trox. Trox turns into double orange shield 702. His B power symbol is missing though. Not even released yet and we're already getting misprints. Great job. Built in reroll and on orange shield an unknown symbol. We're talking about these symbols later. So, not too bad. Aqua's Hydrus, double green fist 306. And really? You're using the Armor and Alliance art for his Battle Planet mold? Why? Why would you do that? Maybe the old evolutions won't work with Mythics after all. Hydrus has built in reroll and on green fist, unknown symbol that is slightly different from Trox's. So Hydrus got nerfed because his original had an orange shield that offers more B power bonuses than green fist. And finally, the Ruby Dragonoid. This one gets double red fist, way better stats with 604, built in reroll and on red fist, unknown symbol that is slightly different from Trox and Hydrus's. Dragonoid is only slightly better by sacrificing damage for B power, able to hit 850 and 7. Now the highlights for these mythics is the unknown symbols for these things. This is not the first time we've seen these either, as they have shown up on other leaked Bakugan before. Now okay, this is where we go into speculation mode on these symbols. The thing they have in common is that they all have the same shape of a Baku core, and they all do different things depending on the icon in the middle. So here are my theories on them. The one on Troxus has a plus symbol on it, which could mean add a Baku core on the field to one of your Bakugan. The one on Hydrus has an arrow on it, which could mean transfer one of your Baku cores on your Bakugan to another Bakugan. The one on Dragonoid has a minus symbol on it, which could mean remove a Baku core from one of your opponent's Bakugan. Now, how did I come to these hypotheses? Because some of these earlier leaks have shown that some Bakugan require two cores to get bonuses. So it makes sense some of these would work the way I think. It would give a sense of strategy instead of relying on putting Chaos Bakugan on your team. Dragonoid's core symbol would not only be a way of balancing and countering it, but it was also a reflective way of some Pyrus card's abilities to wipe cores. Course. Now, I may be wrong and may have gone over the top with some of them, let me know in the comments down below as well as your theories on what they could be, but basically moral of the story, some reminder text would be nice. But the mythics were not the only things that got revealed as we also got a look at Pyrus Platinum Blitzfox. Game Over Entertainment posted the video unboxing and revealed the character card for it. Pyrus Platinum Blitzfox is double orange shield 303 and an orange shield unknown unconfirmed symbol that I already gave my theory about. This is pretty mediocre able to only at best reach 700 B power. We will actually have to see what these symbols actually mean because without reminder text we don't know for sure without official statements. But it seems like Bakugan Evolutions is going to be quite the year for core manipulation in the pro game. Meanwhile, the Baku Masters started getting their gifts from Spin Master and unfortunately, there's nothing new inside them. It's just stuff already released and no Shields of Astoria pack is included. So we can probably conclude that Dream Team Toy Adventures box was an isolated event. Still cool of Spin Master to send these out to the Baku Masters though, and we also learned that there are new Baku Masters now like Ruby Dragonoid, Kodok, and Poke Power Pony. Congratulations everyone! But we're going to finish this video off with a little PSA. Now as of the time of this video going live, tomorrow is Black Friday, meaning stores are probably going to have discounts on various toys, items, and Bakugan products. But unfortunately, there is potential danger coming around small discounts. A store called CampXHistoricalSociety.ca is a Canadian site selling cheap Bakugan products, but has a contact email connected to a scam. This was brought to attention by Zionic Blader on Facebook, and the store is more than likely not legitimate. I don't know for sure though, I never bought anything from there. But it is pretty fishy how a toy store is using a domain and naming themselves a historical camp society. I have no idea what that even is. But if you are buying Bakugan or toys in general looking for good discount deals, I implore everyone please be careful. Double check where you're buying from and try to buy from an accredited business like Toys R Us, Target, Walmart, etc. Getting Bakugan and saving some money doing it is awesome, but getting scammed and potentially even getting your personal info stolen is not. 
That was a massive link that showed a lot of stuff from season 4. So if you want to know my thoughts on them, check the video by pressing the video to your left. And you can also watch my interview with the voice of Dan Kuzo himself, Jonah Weinberg. Support Baku Talk by pressing the thumbs up and give us a subscribe for more awesome Baku Garden content. I've been Haru Ren, and thank God for Rapid Fire. Bye.